بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم so shall we moving on to the next section which are those thulathi mazid fi which have two extra that is in them yes okay so we have here thulathi and rubai with our first the first division of how many abwab are there together 35 and the thulathi rubai the two main divisions there is a thulathi can be divided into two, two subcategories the ru mujarrad and the mazid fi mujarrad has how many bab how many abwab six what are the six according to the structure here nasara yan suru daraba yadribu fataha yaftahu ali ma ya'lamu karu ma yakrumu an hasiba yahsibu those are the five then yesterday we done al mazid fi then mazid fi are those which have extra letters then we said that these are three types either one extra letter two extra letters or three extra letters and yesterday we done those that have one extra letter which was what akrama badala an we use farraha farraha and then qatala qatal yu qatal ma qatal ma qitalan and the hands way as well become the ordinary hands way badala ba taf'il ba mufa'ala ba raka and then arsala ba if'al yes so three those that have one extra letter in them now today we're moving on to the second category of mazid fi which is a category of thulathi mazid fihi harfan which has two extra letters okay so let's keep this table here on top so we have an idea so he says here an naw thani meaning an naw thani of mazid fi so this was an naw al awwal those that have one extra letter now we're going on to those that have two extra letters an naw an okay wa huwa ay an naw thani are those mazid fihi harfan within which two letters have been zad yazidu added in so harfan the naib al fa'il fi'l al majhul this is a naib al fa'il and this is a maf'ul fi or mutalliq so within which when you translate translate the he and the ma together within which two additional letters have been added onto the thulathi mujarrad yes wa huwa khamsatu abwab so we then six here then we then three that's nine and now we're going to do five more abwab so that's all together we're going to go to 14 yes 14 yeah correct and then is four more remaining next week that's going to be 18 that's then that leaves us 17 for the next section so al bab al awwal from the second category is what in fa'ala yan fa'ilu in fi'al problem again is what his structure and the structure we learned in hanzwe was is different but his order okay mawzunuhu in kasara yan kasiru in kisaran so bab in fa'ala yan fa'ilu in fi'al the word that they use readily an easy word that they have picked as an example for this bab is bab in fa'ala in kasara wa alamatuhu what the sign of this bab an yakuna ma fihi ala khamsati ahruf so first sign is what has five all together meaning three plus two three root letters and two additional letters and how is it bi ziyadati al hamzati wa nun fi awwalihi by adding what do you have at the beginning a hamzatul wasl and a nun so you add those two then you add the three huruf asli and the pattern of in fa'ala this is the sign of this bab so anytime you see a nun plus three root letters you know straight away it's going to be what bab in fi'al yes okay now what is this for he says it bina'uhu lil mutawa'a this is for mutawa'a this is now it gets a bit more thinking is needed what does mutawa'a mean so what does ata'a mean ata'a yuti'u yuti'u allah wa rasula to obey now if you take it to uh, mufa'ala so he says to comply with and if you see here to consent to be obedient so he's exp- that's, a, that's a root meaning he explains it here he says mutawa wa ma'na al-mutawa mubtada the meaning of mutawa is what husulu athari shay'i the acquisition or the coming to existence of the effect of something and due to its being linked are connected to a fa'il muta'addi bi ism maf'ul so go that again so bab in fa'il for what meaning what's the meaning what's it called mutawa'a what's it called mutawa'a what does mutawa'a mean that when you take that same fa'il from bab in so let's let's let me apply it. you have in kasara right you got in kasara here anyway right in kasara 
تألق الفعل المتعدي وش الفعل المتعدي of انكسرة فمجرد What's the, what's, the, what's the root letters of this? Uh, what's the mujarrad verb of this? Kasara yaksiru. So when you get, the muta when you get this word kasara, that means it's a muta'addi verb to break. So for example, the example there in Kisar Nabi is what? Kasara? Kisar Nabi in? Yeah, when kasara asnam. Kasara Ibrahimul? Ibrahimul? Asnam. So he's saying here, is the effect that is acquired or comes into existence by the fail being attached to its mafu. So basically, when the kasara happens to the asnam, the asnam become in kasara. In kasara, broken. To become to become the result of the of the fail lazim. So for example, for kasara. So if I break something, that thing becomes what? Broken. broken. So to become broken, that's called what? That's the mutawal. So whatever fail you do, whatever fail muta'addi you do, when that fail muta'addi occurs in a maf'ul, the maf'ul becomes now, the maf'ul is now, does what? Mutawa'a. Meaning it accepts the effect of the action. So for example, fatara, maybe in the surah Surah Al-Mulk, ma tara min fi khalq al-Rahmani, no. Hal tara fihi min futur. Hal tara min futur. And futur, we say it means what? A cleft. Remember the translation? Uh, holes. Do you see any holes or any breaks in the heavens? So fatara means to break something. What comes in the Quran? The sama'un? Fatara. So when the fatara verb is applied to the sama, what happens to the sama? It is mutawa of the fatara. It becomes what? In fatara. Yes? What else comes in the Quran? Wa idhil kawakibun tatharat. So in tathara. So again, we look at this word here. So we have what? Nathara. Nathara literally means, uh, if you get, you know, tasbih, we call it tasbih in, uh, in Urdu, it's called a subha or a rosary bead. You know, the beads are tasbih. If you pop that, what happens to all that you let go of it? What's going to happen? Mm -hmm. My going to get really angry. <laughs> What's going to happen? It all drop. Yes, it all, that's called nathrun. It all does what? It, drop. it drops off. Yes, that's called nathrun. So when you do that, what happens now? The, the mutawa occurs. So now, nathara becomes what? Yeah, but that's another word altogether, but that's again the wrong example. The Nasara doesn't work on that one, but that's a that's a similar concept. Okay, uh, in Fatara. Uh, yeah. So you got the idea? So it's called mutawa. Mutawa means what? The result of the mujarrad. So whenever you have a fail athrathi mujarrad, and the result of the fail mutaddi becomes what? Mutawa. That's what it means here. Okay? Yes. Nahu kasaratu zujaja. Fan kasara. Zujaj means a glass. So you say, kasar to zujaj. I broke the glass, so then what happened? To the zujaj itself. So it's a maf'ul here, it becomes a recipient of the, the action. Yes? Then it explains it. For innan kisara zujaj, the breaking of the zujaj, the breaking of the glass, is an effect which comes about as a result of the breaking being attached, of the, of the fair mutaddi being attached to the maf'ul bihi. Yes? Do you understand the translation? You get the meaning? That's what it means here. Yes? So, consequentially, fell bab in fi'al will be muta'addi lazim all the time. Lazim, because it's the result of something. It, it, it's when you do muta'addi action to that verb, then that thing becomes the in fi'al. So then you're always going to have what? It's never going to be muta'addi. Bab in fi'al will always be what? Lazim. Okay, you got it? So the first bab he discusses what? Bab in fi'al. Okay? Al Babu Thani. The second Bab is what? Ifta'ala yafta'ilu ifti'al. Mawzunuhu ishtama'a yashtami'u ishtima'an. Okay? To come together. Wa alamatuhu an yakuna maadihi ala khamsati ahruf. Translate. That is maadi is on five letters. Yeah, it's alama. It's sign is that it's maadi is on five letters. I.e. it's made up of five. Three plus two. Plus how? By adding a Hamza at the beginning. What? So you have the Fa'ul Kalima is a Jim, the Ayn Al Kalima is a Meem. What do you add between the two of them? When you have an Alif and a Ta in the Fa'ul Maadi, what does it become now? Bab Ifti'an. That's a sign of Bab Ifti'an. وَبِنَاؤُهُ لِلْمُطَاوَعَةِ أَيْذًا This is also for Mutawa, meaning what? 
same thing. So for example, he's giving an example. Nahu jama'atul ibila. If you get the camels together, then the camels become what? Gathered. Gathered. And the example I gave you in the previous verse, intathara. So nathara is to what? Is to break the, is to pull out the, ro- the seeds and the rosary. And when you do that, what happens? Intathara. They become broken and spread out. So Allah has given a metaphor. So as if all of the stars in the orbit are like what? They're on a rosary bead. It's imaginary bead holding them all in line. And when the world comes to an end, this structure is going to happen, what's going to happen? That bead, the imaginary, the imaginary beads, is going to pop and everything will go out of its orbit. Do you understand? Mm. You get it? Get the metaphor? So in tathara, Allah will, cause it, Allah will do nathara, so they become in tathara. It's a mutawa'ah. Yes? Yes? You follow it? Okay. al babu thalith, if Allah yaf'allu if ilalan. If Allah yaf'allu if ilalan. Mawzunuhu, the most common word on this pattern is if al ihmarra yahmarru ihmirar. Okay? Yes? Uh, another, what's what's ihmarra mean? Humrun? To be read. So ihmarra, you don't have a word, for example, it's, uh, what comes in the Quran? Muswadda. The faces will be black. So iswadda, yaswaddu, iswidad, ibn fa'il, muswadda. So it's black, blackened. Do you understand? So he says here, وَعَلَامَتُهُ Use the translation. And the sign mm-hmm. is that in Ismaili has fragments yeah. with the uh, additional Hamza beginning. Good, so you add a Hamza at the beginning. Good. And uh, another letter from the same, uh, from, uh, the uh, uh, repeated lamb basically. Yeah, so be repeated lamb. So you have Ha-ma-ra. Then what do you do? Yes. Put Alif, so that the Hamara is the root letters. Ha-ma-ra. You put the alif at the beginning, and then you do what? You bring another additional letter, the same type as the lam. Kind of saying, ih, marra. Then you do ikham, put it together as one letter. Yes. Wa bina'uhu li mubalagatil lazim. So there's two opinions regarding. Well, we we'll do some more details, but let's just stick to the books first. Simply, that this is for mubalag. Mubalag means exaggeration, or how we call it in English, high probably. Meaning you you exaggerate something, mention something very. So you, like you want to add more meaning to it, more depth, more emphasis on this. So for example, uh, to be read, so, you, so ahmar, so hamura ahmar is to be read. And ahmar gives like a, a more deeper meaning. So most colors come this one. Yes? And he says, and another opinion is, waqila, it is said, meaning it's also one opinion, lil alwani wal uyub. That the, all of the verbs, from this, all of the verbs from this bab of either alwan is what? Colors and aibun pro ayub faults defects mainly bodily defects faults or defects. For example, misalul alwan ihmar zaidun zaid became what red. He got angry and his face became red. As an example of loan, wa misalul ayub awar zaidun awar to to be one eye to have one eye uh, when you one eye is damaged or one eye is not working properly and you become um, What's the word for it? What's the word for it? To become to have one eye. That's why that's we got Dajjal. He says A'war. You only have one eye. Yes? You got it? So A'warra Zaydun. Zayd became one eyed. Yeah? Okay? So second bow. What's the first bow? According to his structure, Infi'al. Infa'ala yanfa'ilu infi'al. In kasara. Then ishtama'a. And now we have here Ihmarra. Yes? So these are three this is order. Then al babu rabi The fourth bab. The fourth uh, bab is what? Tafa'ala yatafa'alu. And in hands where? This is the first one. It's bab number five. Um, yes? So it's a bit all different. Or let's keep the order in mind. So tafa'ala yatafa'alu tafa'ulan. Mawzunuhu takallama yatakallamu takalluman. A very common word from this pattern is what? Takallama. To what? To speak. So takallama yatakallamu takalluman. To speak. Wa alamatuhu an yakuna maadihi ala khamsati ahruf. The first thing is what? That is Madi has what? Fragatus. Biziyadati ta'ifi awwalihi. By adding what at the beginning? So you have kaf. Let's do it. So you have kaf, lam, meem. So what do you add at the beginning? Ta. Yes? Waharfin akhar. Min jinsi ayni fa'lihi. Bain al fa'i wal ayn. So what do you add? You add another letter. 
from or what is a match? Min jins from the same type of the ain. ain. Between where? Fine. Between a fa and the ain. You add another what? Yeah, of the ain. Sorry, between the fa and the ain, you add another lam. So it becomes ta kal la ma. Then you add the shadda. You make a shadda. Ta kal la ma. Possibly, some say this is the origin, this is the first, this is the angle, this is the extra. Doesn't make a difference. Wabina'uhu litakalluf. Wabina'uhu litakalluf. Bab tafa'ul, what does it show? It says takalluf. Let's look at English takalluf. What's takalluf in English? So, for example, uh, to burden, to be burdened, to take upon yourself, to have, to do reluctantly, to do reluctantly, to do unwillingly. Uh, to feign, to, to act. So for example, تَكَلَّفَ uh, الضِّحْكَ What do you do? You pretend to laugh, you force a laugh. When I crack a joke, it's not funny, you have to pretend to laugh out of respect. That's called what? تَفَعُّلْ Yes? So, as <laughs> تَفَعُّلْ تَكَلُّفْ to feign a laugh. See, my, my pretend to fake a joke, then they can't really laugh. Yes? So تَكَلَّفَ الضِّحْكَ to feign a laugh. So what is he saying? What does this mean? تَحْسِيلُ الْمَطْلُوبِ شَيْئًا بَعْدَ شَيْءٍ for the thing that you want to occur, that's matloob is ob objective. Yes? It's for the objective to occur one after the other. Meaning, not one after the other, shay'an, bit after bit, meaning bit by bit. So, there's two, two ways of explaining it. One is, example, if you say, tadahaka. Uh, yes? If you say, for example, tadahaka, he pretended to laugh. Tamarrada, he pretended to be sick, he wasn't really sick. Yes? So you can say maristu, you can say tamarrastu, then you have to go to school, sir. If tamarrastu, you have to go to school. If it's maristu, then excuse. Yes? I'll give the example. Look. He says here, ta'allamtu al-ilm. So this is, this is the other meaning. Another meaning, so one meaning for example, tamarrastu, to pretend, to exaggerate, to overexert. That's very, okay? Another example, you do something bit by bit. So takallama, you brought all the words out at one time, or do you say the words bit by bit? Not me, I speak really fast, so I eat all my words up. But normally speaking, how do people speak? No, bit, by bit. bit by bit. You say, I want to say something to you. So the words come out what? Bit by bit. Yes? Yeah? So ta'allam to, I acquired knowledge what? Bit by bit. And another meaning is what? To pretend to or to exaggerate that action. What comes regarding uh, the story of Sayyiduna Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam? Rabbana? In Qabila? Yeah. Rabbana? Taqabbal minna. Which bab is that from? Tafa'ala. Tafa'ul means what? Wabina'uhu li takalluf. What takalluf mean? Bit by bit. Bit by bit also means what? So he's asking Allah to accept our amal like this. Not unwillingly or reluctantly. But basically we're saying here. Like imagine that you've done something. You know like, like the, the, the girl draws something here. Yeah? And it's not really like it's all scribbles all over the place. And they say, oh mashallah, really good. Yeah? Yeah, you can do that, innit? So pretending that is accepting it and put it on the, put it on the fridge or whatever. Yeah? And it's like nothing. I mean, you're not lucky to go through it here. That's what we do, yeah? It's, that's why we're pretending to make it look good. So when Ibrahim said to Allah, Rabbana, not iqbal minna. That was mean, accept normally. So let's say, for example, and there's a, there's a, there's a thing that, uh, pay five pounds to get a ticket. So I accept my five pounds and I give a ticket. You're accepting it. And one is that it's not really worthy of being accepted. But oh Lord, you just overlook it and just more than accept, not this normal acceptance. You overlook that my amal are not worthy and accept it. Mm. You get the eloquence in the word taqabbal as opposed to qabila. If he says qabila, means accept it, means normally that it's worthy of accepting and presenting my action to you, accept it. But he didn't say, he said, he said, Rabbana qabal minna. What did he say? Taqabbal. That oh Allah, we know it's not worthy of accepting, so just do more acceptance, pretend to accept it that okay, yeah, we'll accept your amal, even though it's not even, we know it's not worthy. The sincerity, the proper way of doing it. We can't do it properly, the 100% way. So, Rabbana, taqabbal minna. You get it? Why the word taqabbal is used? Okay. So, and, and so that's one way of using it, to pretend or to exaggerate or feign something. And the other meaning is bit by bit. Okay. And you see these meanings and when you see the verbs being used. You could probably see them already in your text. The last and final one is al-babul khamis. The fifth one. Which is what? Tafa'ala yatafa'alu tafa'ulan. موزونه تباعد يتباعد تباعدا وعامته أن يكون ماضيه على خمسة أحرف علامة السين إذا هو إذا هم يجلس 3 plus 2 
بزياده التاء في اوله so you have با عين ان دال ولي ان بيجنين تا ان يؤدى الالف بين الفاء وال عين ولي ذا عين اكلي ذا عين هي تباعد في ادي بيكمز تباعد على الماضي we all we always all these would apply to the ماضي مش ماضي the ماضي واحد the غائب of the ماضي اوكي Right. وَبِنَاؤُهُ لِلْمُشَارَكَةِ بَيْنَ الْإِثْنَيْنِ فَصَائِدًا This word, is, the pattern of Bab Tafa'ul is what? That is made for Musharaka. Is the Musharaka already in Bab Mufa'ala? What does it mean? What? Uh, to make two people participate. So it's for showing participation. Show participation of two or most. فَصَائِدًا or صَائِدًا above. This means above. We translate it as what? Or more. Fasa'idan means what? Or more. That's a common structure. Fasa'idan or more. So this shows what? Participation. Bayin al between two things or more. If two or more things, what meaning does it give? This is this is about musharaka. It's called this is musharaka. Okay. Mithal al musharakati bayin al Example of two people participating in the same action is what? تباعد زيد عن عمر بعوده يبعد فور ان تباعد زيد عن عمر so let me both of them this is just again both are participating in the action is it yeah and it can also be ومثال المشاركة بين الاثنين فصاعدا an example of participation between two or more استصالح القوم صلح والصلح من peace like a peace treaty so تصالح القوم the people agree on a peace. So how many people are agreeing? Two or more. Yes? More like more likely more because qawm is used for more than lots of people. So it means what? The Salah al-Qawm, the people agree that they had a peace treaty. Yes? Understood? So that's our this is finished. Yes? So we have how many babs altogether? 35 above of Sarf. How many categories? Main categories? Thulathi and Rubai. How many thulathi? How many categories are there in thulathi? Uh, two. Two. Which are? Mujarrad, Mujarrad and Mazid. How many Mujarrad abwaab are they? Six. Six. What are the six? Nasara. Nasara. Daraba yadribu. Fataha yaftahu. Alima ya'lamu. Karuma yakrumu. And hasiba yahsibu. A six. Done. Then, those that have one extra letter. What three? These are three. Which are the three? Arsala. He said use Akram or Arsala here? Akram. Akrama yukrimu ikraman. Farraha yufarrihu, but that is fine as well. He's a farraha. Yes, and the third one is what? Qatala yuqatil muqatilatan, which are bab if'al, bab taf'i, bab mufa'ala. That's done. Three more done. And then, ma zida fihi harfan. Those that have two additional letters. And his, how many babs are they all together? Five. What were the five? The order? Infa'ala. Infa'ala. So you get an example. In kasara yan kasiru in kisaran. Then? Ishtama'a ya ishtami'u ishtima'an Ishtahada as well, we use that one Ishtama'a ya ishtami'u ishtima'an Infi'al is for mutawa'a Ifti'al is also for mutawa'a Then Ihmarra Ihmarra yahmarra ihmiraran For colors and for bodily defects Then the last two were Takallama Takallama was first Takallama was first Takallama was first Takallama. Takallama. And then the last one is what? Taqabala. No taba'ada. Yes? Yes, you got it? We have five. So we have here all together? Five. So we have here six and three is nine. Nine and five is fourteen. And tomorrow we have, next week we shall have four more. It is eighteen. And that's the first half of our abwabu surf complete. Yes? And then the other half we'll do inshallah later on inshallah. You got it? Yes? سبحان الله بحمد سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك نشهد لا إله إلا أنت ونستغفرك ونتوب إليك